Hey everyone, thank you for coming to another Broadloom webinar. My name is Todd Saunders and I'm the CEO at Broadloom and I'm joined today with Patrick Ferries. Uh, Patrick, you want to do a quick background on, on yourself? Yeah, I've been uh, with Broadloom going a little over a year now. I was with Rollmaster Software before we were acquired for 18 years. And so I've been uh, in the flooring biz a while as well as accounting, payment processing and all these things. So Patrick is our resident accounting, payment processing, uh, backend software guru. Um, and like a lot of you guys know, we acquired Rollmaster, which is now Broadloom Management Software, and um, Patrick runs that whole division. Uh, but today, on today's webinar, we are super excited to talk about payment processing. Um, and I'll let Patrick go through our payment processing solution. But something that gets me very excited about payment processing is just the amount of money it's saving our retailers, one and two, the experience they're providing for their customers where they can get money faster. But I think we should start like how this whole thing came to be. I know we each have, you know, really interesting stories about this. I think for me, um, I was talking to a few retailers, I think it was like six or 10 months ago. And I was hearing things of retailers getting charged four or 5% for credit card fees. And it just dawned on me like, we have 3,000 customers. At our size, we should be able to get really good rates for our retailers so that they can make more money, right? And we hear retailers all the time talking about marketing schemes or things they can do to generate more profit. And the truth is, if you go from getting charged three and a half or 4% credit card fees to 299 flat, you can make a point right there. So uh, we kind of saw this as an amazing opportunity to help retailers make more money without necessarily selling more flooring. Uh, but I know, Patrick, you you dive into this all the time. And I think you've seen some of the horror stories of people thinking they're getting charged something, actually getting charged something. Uh, tell us about what kind of went through your mind before we launched Broadloom Payments, and then we'll get into it. So the industry, the payment processing industry, is a little bit far from transparent. The merchant services, credit card processors, just make it as vague as possible and confusing as possible, and it's how they make their money. And you got to remember that is their only business is credit card processing, where with us, you know, our main business is technology and websites and ERP software. So this is just a side thing to help everybody. And the way they obfuscate the pricing is the statements are confusing. There's little bitty fees here and there everywhere. You don't even know what they are. And then the other trick is they raise the rates all the time. And you can't really tell because the, the statements are so confusing. Yeah, I've looked at some of those statements and I can't, like, I can't even figure it out. It's so wild. It's, it's, it's out of control. Um, so again, I got, quick, I got a quick story on that one, though. There's this yeah. dealer, they had these amazing rates and they're like, you know, can, can you beat these? And we analyzed them. And we we're like, this makes no sense. Like they're paying less than Visa and MasterCard charges. This is impossible. So we dug a little deeper and they were getting annual fees amounting to $10,000. And it only hit on one statement out of the year. So it was a clever game by the merchant. It, they knew that if the dealer looked at any month's statements, it would look like amazing rates that couldn't be beat. But they just packed in these fees one time a year. And as long as that December statement flew under the radar, they'd be getting away with pulling a fast one on the merchant. Yeah. And I think you said a good point earlier. This isn't our core business, which is why we like we make money on software. Like everyone knows that. Um, but because we have so many retailers, us having the ability to offer amazing rates for our customers and a good experience for their customers is all of us win. Right. So so you mentioned um, complicated pricing. I, I pulled up a statement recently and wrote all of the fees that I've seen on a whole bunch of different statements that are outside of just the normal credit card fees. Uh, One of my favorites is on the left there, you can have a PCI compliance fee or you can have a PCI non-compliance fee. What is that? I have no idea. I think my favorite is probably a batch header. Um, I have no idea what that is. I know you can do headers in soccer, but uh, I don't know what a batch header is, but we've seen all of these fees. And I think this is where it gets very confusing for retailers purposely is like you said, these providers will say, look, you're getting a 2.25 or 1.99. And then you, 
you know, you can get a 1.99, but we can get charged for everything else. And you know what? It's actually similar to like Home Depot free installation. It's free installation, but we're just going to charge you five times more for the pad and for furniture removal and all these other things. This is kind of the same game, no? Correct. And what we see here is, you know, the junk fees, if you will, that really are meaningless crap. They're just loading in there to make money. The other area that's confusing for the dealer is the different rates based on the different card types. So when you grab a card from a credit card for, from a customer, you really have no idea what you're going to be charged because you don't know, is it a rewards card? Is it a business card? And what, you know, is it a level two or a level three? So there's all this confusion around card types. And of course, most people know you usually pay more for an Amex but it's different if it's a platinum or an Amex blue, it's different if it's a capital one card. So all those things just make it more confusing and you have to think it's on purpose. So we tried to go a little simpler than that. Yeah. And let's get into that now. But I, I think one part that really ties into your background is like people that use a broad loom management software, formerly known as Rollmaster, um, are always trying to optimize margin, right? And it's funny because you're trying to optimize margin, yet maybe one of the easiest things to do is just look at your credit card fees and save yourself a half a point or one point, or at least know, right? It's one of those things like, even if it's not saving, at least knowing so you can plan. If you know you're always going to get charged 299, well, you can plan better than never knowing. And it could be 25, 375, 45, you know, who knows if it's an Amex, um, black or an, or an Amex business platinum, you could get charged a ton. Uh, so we really tried to make it easy, but I'll let you you talk about this since you really are the, the margin guy. So a couple of unusual things we did, no upcharges for Amex. You take an Amex, it doesn't make a difference. And no per swipe fees. And those are very abnormal. Pretty much everybody I've ever seen charges more for an American Express. So basically it's just 2.79 if you swipe the card, 2.99 if you key the card. And yeah. then it is uh, cloud-based, so you can run the card from anywhere and key it in. But if you have a terminal, you get a little better rate with the card present. And ACH is also becoming bigger and bigger. I mean, how do you view kind of the ACH uh, processing? So ACH is a no-brainer. The vast majority of people I talk to don't even offer ACH. And that's where you're talking saving two percentage points from the uh, credit card swipe. So ACH, if you're not offering it, you're leaving money on the table. Granted, you know, a lot of your clients are going to want to swipe their points card and get their points, and that's fine. But not offering ACH is frankly kind of crazy. Yeah, no, and, and I'm excited that this gives them a way to, retailers a way to offer their consumers uh, an easy way to pay. And again, the exciting part of this, there's no setup fees, no hidden fees. Now, we know that we get charged uh, because we're able to get these flat great rates. We get charged from our vendors $40 a month um, as an integration fee. But I think we're waiving that for the first uh, six months for all retailers that sign up from this webinar, correct? Correct. Awesome. So um, if you guys are interested, I'll kind of leave the information later. But th that means there'll be no monthly fees at all, um, at least for the first six months. And, you know, flat rate 279 299 along with ACH, and we'll show you kind of what that what that looks like. Uh, and I would challenge you. anybody to just look at their uh, statement and see if they can figure out what they're paying, you know, as confusing as those things are. Again, we're just trying to keep it simple. So before I dive into a, just a quick demo of it, do you want to walk through kind of the value? And, and you have a good story of like, I think something with your doctor or your dentist and how you pay them, but, uh, you know, what we're able to do with... Um, integration with our websites one and two what's coming in the future such as text and that type of stuff yep so uh as we already talked about clear and transparent pricing and fixed rates are one of the main things we're going for and um, simplifying the pricing structure another benefit is next day funding so most of the time you can get next day funding you run the card by 8 p.m it's in your bank account the following day and so a lot of uh, uh, merchants hold your money for a day or for a couple of days. So we eliminate that. Uh, Web-based payment. So you can take the payment anywhere. Um, open up your cell phone, take a payment. And then we talked earlier about ACH and an opportunity that is. That can be significant dollars. Just think if you saved 2% in processing fees on, you know, 10 grand a month of volume. So it doesn't take much to move the needle there. 
So coming soon, we have emailing and invoice with an easy link to pay online. Now, just to be clear, you can actually do that now. You can go get a payment link and send it to a client, and, but we're just gonna make that easier in the coming months. Then additionally, rerunning the card on file, that is a big one, just the ability. So we tokenize the card, we're not storing the credit card information, so you're PCI compliant, but we're tokenizing it so you can charge the balance. And the story I like to say, I worked in retail a couple of years, and we'd get the deposit, get the half down, and then the customer just calls you like every other day, wearing you out, when's my stuff going to get there, when are they going to install, what time are they going to show up? Then you do the job, you're done, and you call the customer to ask them how it went and to collect your balance, and it's crickets. So that all of a sudden they disappear on you and you're chasing your money that is owed to you. So with having the card on file and that tokenization, you just log into the Broadloom payments portal, find the previous transaction and charge the balance. Yeah, and that's something I hear from retailers all the time is you know they collect 50% up front and then they can't collect the money for months because the the consumer either you can't reach them or you know there's a tiny little issue or they left something you know they didn't move one little chair and the the re, the consumer's holding that against them and isn't yeah they're holding them. five grand because you scuffed the baseboards yeah exactly which is an absolute now, nightmare. Go ahead. now moving to payments online uh, if you do not offer payment processing on your website you're pretty crazy and. I like to think about how I pay my bills and I do everything online. I'm on the phone all day. I'm in meetings. And then when the kids go to bed, I get online and knock out my bill pay. Now I have a problem when I have a, a, a company I deal with and they don't offer online payments. It's crazy to me. They actually want me to call them during normal business hours, wait on hold and speak to somebody about making a payment. Why can't they make it easier to collect money from me? So a story some of you may have heard before, but it's kind of sad. I actually owe my doctor money, a couple hundred bucks. And it's just because they don't have payment processing on their website. And I keep meaning to call them and each day slips away. And every now and then they'll send me an email with a reminder. And every time I nudge them and say, hey, can I pay online somewhere? Uh, so if you're not offering payment online, you definitely need to get with this centuries and make it easier for your customers to pay you and make it so... You get in the work in the morning, you get a couple emails saying, great, you collected money last night. These customers paid their deposit. Yeah, it's it's funny. I just moved to um, the suburbs in New Jersey and my garbage service is like, yeah, you can send me a check every every month for, um, you know, for, for you know, the garbage pickup. And I'm looking at myself. I'm like, I got to be honest. I've never owned a checkbook. I'm not even sure I know how to write a check. I think I do. I could watch a YouTube video. Uh, but man, like. If you could just take credit card online, I don't even care if you charge me 3%, whatever. I just, I need an easier way to pay you than that. Um, I'm getting a question in the chat and I, this is probably a, a, a joke, but uh, how about cryptocurrency or Bitcoin? Can they take that? Is that coming? No, we haven't crossed that bridge yet. There's a few uh, regulatory hurdles that we're not ready to tackle. Okay. And another question I'm getting texted to me here is, how about, what do the invoices look like? Are the invoices customizable and the receipts customizable for each store? Like what do those look like? Um, there's some basic customization. Like you can add some a couple extra fields like the order number, invoice number. Uh, and then of course it's gonna have your logo and your header. So it looks like it's coming from you, of course. Okay, cool. Um, so that's kind of the, the, I think the core details of it, but I, I wanna show the audience kind of what this looks like on a website. So let me pull up, um, shout out Debbie. Debbie at Carpet and Tile Warehouse is, um, we're gonna demo her here today. Um, so if you go on her website, she put a make a payment button here on the bottom, but we can really put that anywhere on your website. We can put it on the top, we can put it on the bottom. You can put in your email signature, right? It's really just a link. Um, Debbie can also have this link and send this link proactively to customers to pay. Um, yeah, maybe you're emailing them a quote out of any system, whatever you use, and you just send that link along with it to take the deposit. Right, so they can just bookmark that link. And then if you click on the link, essentially what happens is here's Debbie's payment processing, and they can put in um, the amount, the invoice number, a note. And is this area customizable? Can you add additional stuff if you want? Yeah, to so that invoice number field was customizable, and I see Debbie's got it as a required field. 
Okay, but you can add things or remove things from this additional yep. information area. Awesome. Yep. And then the customer very simply can pay you via credit card or pay you via ACH, like as simple as that, checking savings. And again, ACH, 1% um, in-store swipe with a terminal that we provide, 2.79% flat. And if they pay, if the customer pays via your website or they call you and they want to just give you the credit card information, you can just pay, pull up your own website, you know, plug in all the information and it's 2.99%. Um, yeah. And frankly, so people don't even want to call and give their credit card number, you know, for paranoia and security reasons, they'd rather do it themselves than not give it over the phone. Oh, I agree. I totally don't want to do that. I want to pay online and this is fully encrypted, secure, um, and this is kind of what I expect, right? If I don't expect something clean, easy like this, I'm kind of, as a consumer, always a bit sketched out. Um, yeah. So you can see how this is integrated Debbie's website. We've got tons and tons of retailers using it. It's been more successful than I even thought. Um, we're seeing quotes like this all the time. Uh, this is, we, we took this quote for Broadloom Payments, our website, but this was one of the best quotes I've heard recently from the team over at Simply Floors, where, um, I think this year they're projecting to save just under $33,000 from switching payment processing. And they didn't even know, I think they were one of the people whose rates were totally obfuscated and crazy. And well, and if you know anything about them, they run a really tight ship. So I was surprised that their merchant was able to just continually raise their rates in the background and get over on them, you know? So go ahead to rectify that. Yeah. Uh, shout out to, uh, Karen and Buddy, Mitchell, Buddy, look great on the website, by the way. Um, but I know they're killing it with payment processing and seeing a ton of success. Um, anyway, I know our time is about to be up. Um, and there's a few other questions I think we'll have to get to via email. But do you want to tell people how they can sign up and or how they can reach out to us to get started or at least ask more? Yep. Uh, pretty quick and easy. Just email payments at broadloom.com. And then one of our team members, probably Heather, Chris, or myself will get back to you. So just payments at broadloom.com. And then from the moment you sign up, we can usually, as long as you fill out the paperwork required, we can get you processing in a week or two. Awesome. And of course, I added my phone numbers. A lot of people like to text or will just text me anyway. So, uh, you know, feel free to text me. And, you know, we didn't really hit on this, but I think at, a, at another uh, conversation, we'll talk about some other cool integrations we're doing with payment processing. But we're out of time today. Please feel free to reach out to myself, payments at broadloom.com, or you can email me, todd.saunders at broadloom.com, and I'm happy to, to chat about it. Uh, I appreciate you taking the time, Patrick, and uh, see you soon. Thanks, Todd. Thanks, everybody. Bye.